If you've ever helped a relative cleaning up their attic, you know that it can very often be an arduous and uneventful task. Well, it also can be an exciting project. It might not seem like an exciting job to do, but there's always that chance that you'll uncover something about your family that you didn't know before. Recently, Mike and Maria Lopez were tasked with the mission of cleaning up their grandfather's attic. Their grandfather had always told incredible tales about his past, and even though these tales might have been something out of his imagination, nothing prepared the siblings for the amazing journey they were about to make when they opened one unmarked box. All of us fantasize about the idea of some secret treasure hiding in the attic of our childhood home. There has to be something of value in some of those boxes, but Mike Lopez had trouble thinking this way. When Mike and his sister Maria were little, they were told very incredible stories from his grandfather. To them, it had been bedtime stories. They never really thought the old man could tell the truth. One of the stories the grandfather liked to tell the grandkids was that when he was young, he'd found the hidden treasure of Jose Gaspar, one of the most fearsome Spanish pirates the world ever knew. Like every child, they enjoyed the stories and never actually gave them credit while growing up. After Mike's and Maria's grandfather passed away, they were tasked with a chore that they didn't find exciting at all, cleaning the old man's attic. Before starting, they'd figured that most likely they wouldn't find anything valuable stored in there until they made a shocking discovery inside one unmarked box that was set at the end of the attic. What they found inside the box changed everything they thought they knew about their grandfather. Among the bizarre items that Mike and Maria found inside the strange box was a picture of two people on their wedding day. They assumed that the people in the picture were most likely their great-grandparents, although they had no proof as there weren't any writings in the back of the picture. Inside the box, they also found an old map of Tampa, Florida, dated back to the 1930s. What was curious about the map was the fact that it seemed to be hand-drawn. Between the items, they also found what seemed to be arrays of Spanish and Portuguese coins that seemed to date way back to the 16th century. Perhaps there was some truth to their grandfather's stories? But the biggest discovery was still waiting to be found. In the unmarked box were more items, but the only items that really shocked or even scared them was a preserved human hand. The simple chore had started to look like a horror movie. What in the world would their grandfather be doing with a preserved human hand? Mark said later, while admitting that sometimes you can be shocked about the truth. Both Mark and Maria were in complete shock when they discovered the hand. Maria came across it, and once she told me she'd found a hand in the box, I was blown away, he admitted after their find. The biggest mystery wasn't the hand itself, but why would their grandparents keep it for so long and in total secret from the family? Mike and Maria knew that to solve the mystery and find out the truth behind their grandfather, they'd have to do more digging. They had imagined all possible explanations for the mysterious items inside the box, yet wishing to get to the bottom of the story, they decided to take the box to a professional for appraisal. At the Tampa Bay History Center, a curator called Rodney Kite Powell took a look at the coins. They're a little thin to be Spanish coins or old coins in general. Generally, older coins were thicker, said Rodney. Okay, the coins weren't as old as they had imagined, but it didn't make their discovery any less exciting. After a loose examination, he was able to determine that the hand-drawn map dated back to the early 20s or 30s. With every item examined, the chances of any of these items being part of Jose Gaspar's treasure were starting to quickly dwindle. It's fascinating, but I just don't know what to make of it, aside from the fact that it's probably not Jose Gaspar's hand. These probably aren't Spanish coins, Rodney explained. Although these answers were not what they'd come looking for, they remained excited. It might not be Jose Gaspar's treasure, but it didn't make it less of a mystery to solve. I think it still looks real, and the weirdest thing is the hand. Either my great-grandfather made the best, most elaborate pirate hoax ever and never shared it with anyone, or he did find some treasure on the Hillsborough River. Mike recalled, there's no way to know. Mike and Maria decided that the best was to keep the mystery like that and hold on to the mysterious contents of the box as a family relic to their grandfather and their family history. They still hope someday to find the truth.